Crews in Florida are now searching for victims who may be trapped in the unbelievable devastation caused by Hurricane Ian. I mean, just take a look at these aerial views and all the damage. We also know at least a dozen people were killed, and unfortunately that death toll is expected to climb. CBS 2's Christian Benavidez joins us live from near Orlando, Florida with a look at the damage. And Christian, you have been there in the storm covering this for us all week. Um, we can see the sun is finally shining again. Just tell us the latest on what is happening there in Florida right now. Chris and Marcy, good morning. We are at a retirement community just outside of Orlando. It's really in the Orlando area, and there were about 100 people that had to be rescued from here. And in fact, res rescue operations are going to continue a little bit later because there are still people that are inside of their homes trapped back there. This is a retirement community, like I mentioned. So uh, this is a vulnerable community. This is somewhere where authorities want to get to. Now, I should mention that while some rescue crews were out there yesterday, there were people that decided that they didn't even want to leave their home. So you can imagine the situation that they're in uh, wanting to remain in their home despite being in these flooded waters and unable to get out as far as southwest florida the devastation is just massive we are not going to know the true extent of everything for at least a couple of days you know the number of fatalities we're really not going to know that in at least a number of days until really officials and rescue crews are able to get over there you got to remember there's no cell phone service out there no electricity so it is just so difficult to set up communication with anyone that was really on the ground while the storm moved through there but there were at least 500 rescues out on, on southwest Florida where they were really hit by the storm. About 200 rescues here in central Florida. But uh, President Biden said yesterday at a FEMA briefing that he believes that once this is all said and done, that this could be the deadliest hurricane that Florida has ever seen. Just awful to hear and kind of to put things into perspective, Christian, how costly is this storm expected to be? Well, look, according to one analysis, 60 to 70 billion dollars could be the cost of this, which would rank it among the costliest in the U.S. And you can just imagine, I mean, these if you've seen the satellite images of Fort Myers Beach and all of it just absolutely decimated, I mean, it will have to be rebuilt from the ground up almost because a, a number of homes were just, you know, pushed off their foundation and it's really uh, quite heartbreaking and heart wrenching to see. And we're really just, we're gonna get a full scope of everything in the coming days. All right, Christian, thank you for that update. We'll check in with you a little later. And it's important to note that our disaster response partner, the American Red Cross is on the ground helping communities in need and you can donate it to help out. We have a link on our website, cbsla.com. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.